everybody. This is Jess from Main and Suds and Such. And today I am making my second fall fragrance and it is scented in hold on, I have a bunch. I decided which one to do at the last minute. Um fresh baked apple pie. And um my one I made yesterday or day before yesterday is starting to darken some which I was afraid of that was going to happen, which it's okay. As long as I can still see the different colors in it, I'm happy. So, but this one I did put some vanilla color stabilizer in it, so I'm hoping that will help. So, in goes the oatmeal and kale and clay. questions um, on the Facebook grouping page that I'm on um, about uh, that I do my all my soaps with water discounts so I'm going to answer that question in just a second <laughs> soap recipe calls for um let me go get my lye water it calls for 15.13 ounces of lye and 36 point something ounces of water so um instead of doing the 36 ounces of water I just multiply the uh, lye amount times two. So instead of using 36 ounces of water, I use like 30.5 ounces of water because it's 15.1 ounces of lye. So 15 times two is 30. I add just a smidgen more. But in this, um, right here in this lye mixture, it is only about 26 ounces of water because I use four ounces of cream. So those two together equals my water mixture, which is the 30 ounces. I hope that makes sense to those of you that were questioning about water discounts. You can go all the way down to a one-to-one -one ratio. I mean, uh, that would be, um, 15 ounces of lye and 15 ounces of water. But that would be for people that are not faint of heart and you're not doing any swirls, maybe one color, and then you're done. Because that is going to trace extremely fast. Got my cream, let's add that in now. And of course I'm doing my double batch. Um, trying to get ready for the um, apple festival we have coming up. I'm making apple butter. I have wintered candied apple. And then this is fresh baked apple pie. And they all smell heavenly. And you know yesterday, or day before yesterday, yesterday I cut my pumpkin souffle. Uh, and the colors in this soap I'm going to do are um, green and red for apples. Not all apples are, you know, one color. So I'm going to do green and red for those. And then I'm going to do brown for like the pie part. And then I'm going to do white. So let's get three colors. I may, I'm not sure what, what kind of design I'm going to do. I was thinking of an in the pot swirl with um, the red and green. I 
I don't know. Or maybe... I think I know what I'm going to do. I need another bowl. Hold on. It's a little wet. Let's get that cleaned out. Let me put some in this. I know I changed my mind at the last minute of what I'm going to do. <laughs> but you guys should know that by now that I don't pre-plan what I'm doing. I do it as I go. Okay, brown. Get all the soap color out. Kiddos are laying down. Austin's not sleeping, but he's laying down for me while I'm making soap. The little one is sleeping. Definitely. Okay. Let's do green. And also I'm going to do this again in this one. Get some of the batter. Uh, got it on my finger. And get all of that green color out. I'm a messy soaper. Not no good. I've used, and the reason I'm using all the color um, is because I pre decided, you know, at the last second, you know, when I was getting my colors ready, what I was going to do. And um, so I used uh, my water or my oil. To mix my colors in my base oils so I can't um, can't leave it out or I'll be short oils if that makes sense to you guys I hope so same thing again putting some of the oil in there or the batter actually just helps to get it out of the bottom the last little bit. And this is a red red. But, I mean, it's fall, winter. I want red red. Not really done red very often. I'm hoping this is red red. Huh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's what I want. Now, this, the new part that I decided at the last second to do. I want it white, white. I might be in trouble here, you guys. You may end up being in trouble. I'm going to mix this color or fragrance some because the vanilla color stabilizer is in it. And I'm really hoping that this does not. Go fast. 
because I can't afford it to right now. <laughs> so I'm going to whisk these. Oh, I think it's going to go pretty fast. So I'm going to have to hurry. And then the, the big one, we're going to add white. And I'm adding red into it right now. <laughs> oh, well. Just to lighten it up and to help um, counteract if it does want to darken. this stays loose for me. This is the first time I'm going to be doing something like this. So what I'm going to do is in the pot swirl in all three of these. Save whatever's in there for the top spine. Okay. Spatula. In and around. If you guys notice that I don't use a thousand spatulas, I, I just hate doing dishes. So I use the minimal amount and I just try to clean it good <laughs> between each color. Okay, that's that. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Never done this before. We'll see. Alright, let me move my colors over here. Get my molds. Color off. You can see? Yeah, you can see. Alright, let's pour the base in. Oh yeah, starting to set up some. It's not not terribly. I mean if you guys watched my video from making the other one, it set up extremely fast. But, I mean, it's what you get for... Gotta try new stuff. You don't never know until you try. And I'm hoping, um, I did, uh, I used about five and a half ounces of fragrance. And I used uh, two and a half to three ounces of vanilla color stabilizer. And I'm hoping that it's enough. Because when I smell this, honestly, I get that you have a freshly baked apple pie out of the oven. And you have a side of ice cream. That's what I smell when I smell this fragrance. The side of ice cream along with the apple pie. Okay, now let's try this. I didn't go down in there very far. Oh well. See, you know, you live and learn. Save that for the top. Okay. 
That one's fuller. Holy crap. It's not going to have a whole lot of green, I don't think. This one's going to have to have more green to get it kind of even. Yeah. Or these slices over here are just going to have to be a hair fatter. <laughs> okay. Now, what I want to do is bang this out. No. Yeah, no, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Let's take my skewer. See if we can't get something going on. There's that one. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Okay, there's that one. Now I'll bang them out and then we'll do our tops. sweating with this one you guys. That one made me a little nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Okay. Let's do our top. You know what? Yeah, they don't look too bad. They look pretty even. What you think? What you think? This one's very Christmassy. Oh, and just so you guys know, I made my very first sale on Etsy. Yay! <laughs> my soaps has been on Etsy for around four months. I'm getting ready to have to renew them. I have not sold a thing. And I was actually thinking to myself of taking them off of Etsy. Because I sell them on eBay pretty well. Um, but I've not sold them on Etsy at all. And I'm not getting very many views on Etsy. And I thought about it, you know, and I was pretty much decided that I was going to take them off. But I figured I'd better wait. And um, I'm so glad I did. God knows what he's doing. He knew for me not to take them off. I'm super happy I got this in the mold. Huh. I got a little nervous when I was mixing up with my whisk with that first color. I kind of felt thick and I was thinking, oh no, I have 10 pounds of soap here that I'm not going to be able to do anything with. But all is well. It's in the mold. We are good. Now that is a red red. I like that. And I actually think, think that I got um, it from TKB. Um, it's an oxide. This one's definitely going to have to have glitter. All the work I went into this? Oh yeah. Definitely needs glitter. Alright, last but not least, the little bit of sort of white, because I just mixed a bunch of colors into it. 
Oh well. I want you guys to please rate, or not rate, God Almighty. Can't rate my videos. You can like them. And subscribe to my channel. And comment. And comment that I'm some crazy lady. Alright. I have to change my shirt. I got soap on it. Let me grab my glitter for when I'm ready. Good old spinula. Let's get the texture in our top. It does not look like um, a gloppy mess on the inside. <laughs> we shall see. kind of a, sh a pretty shaker like everybody else has got to do my top glitter. Uh oh. Hold on everybody. I'll pause you and come back. Okay. We are back. down but I've had a lot of people um, ask how I if I um, what am I wanting to say if I insulate my soaps or if I um, you know how I put my soaps to bed I guess you could say so I will show you this is all I do my husband was wonderful when he made my molds 
that he made matching lids. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the top before I get you down and do the lids. Let's see. Can you see the top? Yeah. There's the top. Okay. Holy crap, I'm going to make you sick. Back out. Okay. Alright. Here is my lids my husband made to match my molds. And if you notice, they have this lip on them on the inside. And it's not big. It's like a quarter of an inch. And it fits perfectly on my mold. I have to start it on one end and I butt it and I put it down and I have to bang it on. And that is how I put my soaps to bed. That lid stays on there. No air gets to them. But I have to take my lid back off because I didn't put spray it with alcohol. Hold on. Spray it with alcohol. I always spray the tops of my soap with alcohol. Um, I used to get soda ash on them. I do not anymore. Um, not since I changed, well I changed my recipe, but I do not get soda ash since um, I use alcohol on them. Spray it, put my lid on, here's my other one. And then that's it. I sit them on my kitchen table and I make sure that they are spaced like this far apart. That way heat does not get trapped in between them because they do, my recipe does always heat up, which is fine. It gels, it does not bother me. And um, I just leave it like this. And like right now it's two o'clock in the evening. Tomorrow morning when I get up, I'll take the lids off and I'll unmold it and I'll cut it. And you guys will see. So thank you for watching. You guys have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow.